Okay, now we're going to be doing some grousing of the pool now. Um, now there's a few things I want to tell you. Firstly, I'm not going to be doing a lot at a, at a time because it's 35 degrees and this stuff is going to go off reasonably quickly. Um, and I'll show you how we're going to do it. This is the mixture. It's kind of nice, it's creamy. It's not runny, but it's not stiff. Okay, then you put some of this on the wall. Starting at the top, getting it right into that top joint. Like I say, I won't be doing an awful lot at a time. We put, oh dear me, that's naughty. First we'll get that off. I'll go as far as here in this one stage. Now we're going to do this in three stages. This first stage is putting the grout in. Now I don't go all the way from the floor, all the way there, so I'll pick a halfway mark and go like that. And the method is like that, you go up, pushing it in, and then just scrape it off coming down. And you'll see if you haven't filled the joint properly, and then you can just go back over it. But other than that, very simple process. Not going to really use an awful lot of energy over this. And I like it because it's the end of the, end of the job, you know. You, the last stage of the job. Now after I've done this, I'll just do the bottom bit to meet it up. I'm going to wash it. Right, All right there we go from the bottom upwards again. Stop. Just like that. It's not a particularly hard job, you just gotta yeah, just relax, enjoy it. Now, depending on the weather, I would normally, if it wasn't going to be a hot day, I would normally go a lot further before I washed. Now, you can see it's starting to dry up already. That's good. We don't mind that. But normally, I would go, say, to oh, around about here before I washed. Now, the washing, this is... Raimondi wash boy and the sponges have all got squares on them that means that all the stuff from there that I collect in the sponge doesn't get caught up in the sponge it ends up in the bottom there's a little grid underneath here now washing you not have to be very particular here we're just going to give a, a scrub up type wash just like that and what this is doing is Basically smoothing out the joint to a fair degree and taking a lot off of the uh, off of the tile. But that's not the end of it. <coughs> Bear in mind this is just what I call now you see a bit of glue coming there. Take that off straight away. Now we're going to carry on again with a bit more and that would be drying while I do this. It's exactly the same process. Now 
once again, I'll do about the same amount and you'll find that this will fairly well dry. So the pool light gets fixed onto there. Again, probably round about here. Yeah. Again, I'll do the same as what I did last time. I'll start from the base, well, halfway up. Like that. You're pushing it in on the way up like that, I'm using it quite firmly. Coming down, I've got it on an angle and I'm kind of cutting off all the brow. Okay, and you'll notice, you'll be able to see that the joints are all full. If they're empty like that, of course you have to go over it again. But we'll just do this. It's all now you'll see the reason in a minute why I've left that over there. That's about it, that's as far as we've gone. I'll just go from the bottom upwards. Normally I'd have the radio on playing music while I'm doing this, but because I'm doing a video for YouTube, they won't allow me to put anything copyright on. So, so that ends the radio. Now, I've got that far. Now I'm not going to wash that yet. What I'm going to do is give this part here, as you notice it's drying off quite happily, that's now going to have what I call a clean wash. And by doing that, oh incidentally, by using this, you don't get wet hands and withered up joints. Now what we do here, we just go once across, one sweep, or swipe, and then rinse. Again, once, and then rinse. If I didn't do that, just suppose I went like that, and then went like that. Well, it's not happening now. <laughs> that is, she has putting it back onto the, onto the tile. Whereas I want this to be nice and clean. Because the next stage after that, I'm going to buff it. So. Okay, now that's all ready, we'll leave that and that'll dry and we'll be able to buff that. Now on this again, we've got our rough up wash to get the hang of it. I pay particular attention while I'm doing this to make sure that the joints aren't overloaded with grout, that, they, that it's coming up reasonably even. You'll notice here, I haven't uh, completely filled that joint. So I'll just take a bit of grout from there and put it in. Okay. If you do things and you see them, you can't go wrong.
now. Before I do anything else, I'm going to put some more grout on. It's the same process. If it gets too boring, just fast forward. <laughs> Let me go to here. Because the next stage completes the process where I'm going to buff it and you'll see how everything gets done then. This is not hard at all, in fact, it's quite relaxing. this bear in mind this is a very hot day so uh, everything's going to go off quite nice and quickly and easily and uh, you might find if it's winter time you, you go a lot further with the grout in before you wash but it still remains the same process right throughout I found over the years this is the easiest way of grouting. Like that. Now, we now go back to the beginning where this area here we've had the clean wash. We haven't had a clean wash on this yet and we haven't had the rough up wash on that. But first, We'll buff this, and then we'll give that a clean wash. Now hopefully it's dry enough for me to do this, and it is. Right, now that's buffed. This now gets a clean wash. As you can see, I'm not really exerting myself. It's, it's a very easy process. And like everything I do, I've made it so it's the easiest possible thing to do. OK, now that's all had a clean wash. That's been buffed. That's got a clean wash. That'll dry, and then we'll buff that. But, the next stage is this now gets a rough up. This is a very brilliant tool. Okay, now the next thing to do is to put more grout on. Then when that, when, then I will come back and buff the one that has had the, uh, the, uh, the clean wash. Then I will give this section a clean wash and this section will get the rough up wash. 
and it goes on like that for the whole journey. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks very much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.